today? Good, and hello to everybody on Facebook Live joining us today. My name's Amanda, I'm one of the Sea Lion Keepers, and let me introduce you to the stars of our presentation today. We have Maggie, and she's gonna be working with one of our female California Sea Lions. Her name is Callie. Everybody wave hello to Callie. Now, Callie is one of our smaller and lightest colored sea lions. That's how you can tell her apart from the other four sea lions that we have here at the Houston Zoo. Now, they all have different personalities, and Callie's, as you can see, as she's sticking her tongue out, she has a very silly, laid-back personality. And she's also pretty tall. Look at her standing on her back flippers. Sea lions can be about seven feet long. Once you um, stand them up, they look really tall. Now, Callie weighs close to about 200 pounds, and that's for a female. Now, males are gonna be a lot bigger. Males can get up to 1,000 pounds. Now, our dominant male that we have here at the Houston Zoo is Jonah, and he is about 550 pounds. Just to give you an idea of the size difference, that females that you're looking at right now are a lot smaller than the males. Now, Callie has a very special birthday coming up this weekend. She is going to be 18 years old. Now, most sea lions, yeah, she's pretty excited. Now, most sea lions are born in the summer, usually between May and July, and she's the last of our birthdays. If you've been following us on social media, you've seen our really fun cakes that we put together for the sea lions. They get ice cakes with fish and jello and even fish blood. And if you stick around afterwards, you'll actually see some of those treats um, that we make for them. Now, as I mentioned, birthday season, so summer is a pretty happening time at sea lions. So it's birthday season as well as breeding season. So as you go around the zoo today, you might hear Jonah barking, and that is called a rut bark. Callie's demonstrating her bark. Now, Jonah's is more ry rhythmic, so it's very loud. You can even hear it when you're across the zoo. Um, so next time you visit, if you're in the summer and you hear that, that is Jonah, and he's barking to let everybody know that this is his territory, these are his females, his ladies. Um, males can have a big group of females, up to about 10 females or so out in the wild. Now, the rest of our sea lions, we do have another male, and that is Callie's son. So Max is our youngest sea lion, and he is five years old, but even though he's the youngest, he is not the smallest. Um, so Callie is pretty petite, she's very slender, um, which makes her very athletic, as you see her doing that three-point behavior there. So that's Max is her son. And then Callie, we're going to go through the whole family here at Sea Lion. So Callie has a half-sister, Camilla. Camilla is about 10 days older than Callie. Now, we were talking about Sea Lion personalities, right? Callie, as you saw, she is not the most coordinated Sea Lion. She can be a little clumsy. Um, so that's part of her personality, whereas her sister, Camilla, she is on point. She is very disciplined. She loves doing behaviors, whereas Callie is a lot more laid back. Now, here's going to be a buoy in the middle of the pool. So sea lions, as I mentioned, are very athletic. So sea lions are able to push themselves through the water using those big, powerful front flippers. They can jump off the surface up to about 10 feet high. Now, sea lions are really cool because they're really athletic in the water as well as on land. So you can see Callie as she's swimming around, she's using those front flippers to propel herself. So they can swim up to about 25 miles an hour. And then she's also really agile on land, as you saw Maggie demonstrating those dancing skills. Now, there's one last sea lion we haven't talked about, and that's TJ. And TJ is, um, Callie is TJ's aunt. So TJ is Camilla's daughter. Um, and TJ is the sea lion that you will often see out here that splashes. Raise your hand if you've ever seen a sea lion that's out here that splashes and catches the water in the mouth. Yeah, I see all those campers raising their hand. So TJ, that's her favorite pastime, is slapping the water and catching it in her mouth. Now, there's Callie demonstrating that beautiful smile she has. 
Now, I mentioned summer is a popular time at sea lions, so it's also molting season. So we are just in the early phases of molting. So as you look at Callie's face, um, you can see that she's starting to get a little discoloration around her eyes. That's usually where it starts. A little bit of a reddish color. Now what molting is, is they lose their hair and they get new hair in. So they look really nice in the fall because that's after they have finished their molt. And Callie has a beautiful color. She's this really pretty California blonde color. Um, some sea lions are darker, more of a chocolate brown. Um, and Callie is more light, especially when she's dry. Now, um, also with molting, they might look a little patchy and it can take a few months for the entire process of molting to happen. So if you can see Callie's underside, you might see it's a little bit more red. Maggie's pointing out those different areas. Um, and then when they're in full molt, we'll find lots of hair in the pool. Um, their hair, even though they look really streamlined because they're wet, when they're dry, their hair is actually really soft. It's about an inch long hair. Maybe Maggie can run her hand. There you go, you can kind of see that hair a little bit better when it's rubbed in the opposite direction. Um, and then they ha also have this oil that's on their, their fur and their skin, and that's what helps keep their fur waterproof. Now, as you're watching Maggie and Callie work together, you're seeing lots of communication happening. So we do lots of training with our sea lions. So every behavior that you see, Maggie is asking a behavior, it's on a cue. So every behavior has a visual and a verbal cue. That way, as the sea lions age, if they lose their vision or their um, hearing, they're able to still do those behaviors. So we train a wide variety of behaviors. So a lot of what you're seeing today are presentation behaviors but we also do husbandry behaviors, and those are the medical behaviors that we do to take better care of our sea lions. So we do a med check every day where we can look over the sea lion's body, we can open up their mouth, check their teeth, we can do a layout to look over their whole bodies, make sure that they're nice and healthy. There you get a good shot of her mouth, and you'll notice that their teeth are not white, right? So they're actually more of a dark color, they're kind of a blackish brownish color, and that is normal and healthy for sea lions will actually brush their teeth as well, and that's mostly for their gum health. There's Maggie checking out Callie's flippers too, and we work really closely with our vet team. They come over about twice a week or so. Sometimes they're just feeding the sea lions, and other times we're working on maybe training a medical procedure or going through a practice exam or things like that. All right, how's everybody doing out there? Campers, you doing good? Yeah, all right. So here's going to be another buoy jump. All right, so we're going to transition down here. And Maggie, we're going to demonstrate um, some recycling. So July is plastic free July. So that means we are highlighting ways that you can help reduce single use plastics to help save animals in the wild. So Callie is going to do a little demonstration for us to see how we can do our part so Maggie has a few different bins. She's gonna toss some items out, and then we're gonna see what we should do with the items. Should we recycle it? Should we maybe donate it? Maybe we should find a trash receptacle to throw it in. So let's see what we got here. She's gonna toss out some items. And as you're going around the zoo, um, you'll actually notice we have, you know, it's really hot here, right? Everybody knows that. We have some reusable bottle refill stations around the zoo to help cool you off. So this is gonna be our first item, is Callie's bringing back a plastic bottle. So what are we gonna do with the plastic bottle? Everybody shout it out. Recycle, right? So she recycled that. She put it in the right bin because you can look for that triangular symbol on the, bottle of the bottom of the bottle and see that you can recycle it. Here comes another one. She's gonna go ahead and recycle that one too. All right, good job, Callie. So an alternative to single-use uh, plastic bottles is to bring that reusable bottle. And we sell them at the gift shop. We actually have some that say um, that this bottle saved sea lions in the wild. All right, so now she's got a book. Now this is probably just an old book. Let's see, Maggie, what, what is it? Does it look pretty old? It's pretty worn. So we probably would just want to put that into, do we want to recycle it, Callie? No, we'll go ahead and throw that away. You can also donate it. 
You can maybe think of other uses for it, but as long as it makes its way into the trash so that it doesn't end up out into the ocean. So Callie looks like she has cleaned up her pool, um, which is really important so that we don't, um, so it doesn't make its way out into the ocean. So whenever you're going around, if you see trash on the ground and then there's a nearby trash can, go ahead and put it into the trash because it will find a way out there and it is harmful for animals, especially things like plastic bags because those can be misinterpreted by animals as jellyfish. Now, I think Callie also has um, an idea for how to eliminate those plastic bags. Um, so whenever you go to the grocery store, sometimes it's hard to remember, but we want to try to challenge you guys to remember to bring your reusable bags to the grocery store um, Callie's got her reusable bag right here, and <laughs> we're gonna see, um, there we go. Callie's gonna bring her reusable bag to the grocery store uh, so that we try to limit our single-use plastics. Well, I think Callie's done a pretty good job today. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah. All right, so one of the most common questions that we get is how do the sea lions stay cool in the summer, right? It's really hot. Well, the water temperature is actually really cold. It's on a chiller. It's kept at about 64 degrees, so it's nice and chilly. It's also salt water. And, but we also like to give some special frozen treats. So right now, Callie's gonna go take a little visit to our friend Emily, who's hanging out on the other side there. Um, and we're gonna get some, Callie has other plans in mind. She's like, hey, I'm still cleaning up the pool. I found this plastic bin. Maggie, I think we should recycle this plastic bin. Um, now, I mentioned that Callie's birthday is this weekend. And so we do those ice cakes and we put frozen fish in there and fish blood. Fish blood is actually one of the male sea lion's favorite treats. Doesn't that sound delicious to you kids out there? Fish blood popsicles. It's one of their favorite things. So Maggie's gonna go get us some of those treats for us to watch Callie enjoy those. Now we also, um, the sea lions eat a wide variety of fish. So what you saw Maggie feeding was mainly capelin, herring, squid, and then also smelt. And Maggie's gonna show everybody that's watching on Facebook an up close view of that so right here this is a squid pop and then over here we've got some smelt this is frozen jello and then this is the money shot right there that is the frozen fish blood that's jonah and max's favorite all right so maggie's gonna dump this right here in front of us and then we're gonna see if callie will come and enjoy her tasty frozen treats all right and I mentioned that her birthday is this weekend. Be on the lookout for on social media. You'll get to see those photos um, of the birthday celebrations. And Callie is a little confused right now. Maybe Maggie can call her back over. There we go. Now she sees it. Here she comes. There we go, now she's found it. So you can see she's enjoying those fish and she's gonna see what she wants out of all of that. A lot of times the sea lions like to push that stuff into the water, there she goes. That's their favorite maneuver. They like to enjoy their treats in the water. So again, that one that she has right now, that's a frozen squid pop. And then we also have those donut looking things is frozen fish blood and then lots of ice cubes. Now she may, since she just had her training session and lots of fish, she may be like, you know what, I might enjoy these things later. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed watching today. Those of you that are here at the zoo and joining us on Facebook Live. Um, and remember, just by visiting the zoo today, you guys are helping us save animals in the wild. So we really appreciate your support and we hope you, we see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.